What's up my dudes, Valk here, and today we're going over the top 5 categories in Anime World Tower Defense, and telling you guys why they're so good, my thoughts on them, etc. Um, basically going over that, let's start off with number 1, to nobody's surprise, is Spiritual Sensitivity. So, all I gotta do is go here, go, and go look up SS, and now this might, some people might argue that it's not the best team in the game anymore. But, I think the units it has on it are still just insane. It has Yuta, it has Kashimo, it has Gojo, it has Higuruma, it has Grimmy, it has Ghetto, it has Nanami, it has Megami, it has Toto, it has Jogo, it has literally all these super Sukuna, all these super high power units that are just so damn strong for basically everything. Making it so this team just still just dumpsters most of content in the game despite all the nerfs it's gotten it's still an insanely powerful powerhouse of a category it just has either the best or some of the best units in everything that they do they are so good at everything that this is just an insane category so next up now that we've gotten the you know monthly bi-monthly uh glazing of spatial sensitivity over uh, next up, we're going to get to a new unit, or a new category that I think is the second best category in the game, Ninja Warrior. Uh, very simply, they have really strong units. They literally get into, they're the second best unit, or second best team in the game, in my opinion, through sheer raw power. They have such high attack stats due to Naruto's buffing, and the fact that they all have basically really high attack stats off rip anyways that all these units are nuts. They have access to Drowning, they have Hashirama, they have Saratobi, they have Gara. Don't sleep on Gara. I, I made a video about him, but I've been playing more with Gara. Uh, his second upgrade is a four second full AoE stun. He's really good. <laughs> they have Gara. they have um, Shisui, they have uh, obviously Naruto, Sasuke, Pain, this team just stacked. They have so much good damage options, Toby. Uh, they can just get some crazy high attack sets. Data, I made a video about why Data is good even. But they can get to some crazy, crazy, crazy high attack stats. A lot of them you can get from the Legend Stage too, like Hedon. Hedon is nuts. Um, and they're able to reach just insane damage output off of just their attack stats alone. To the point where this category is so damn strong. Now, I do feel like this category is not going to be number two for long. I'm going to be honest with you guys. Because Ninja Warrior is a pretty niche category. And I can see it dropping off as more units get added. More strong units get added. And they lose their value and power. I can see this category dropping off. Because there's not going to be many units that drop in the future. That are going to get added to Ninja Warrior. Unless they do like another Ninja update. Which is not really a whole lot of like giga popular Ninja animes. So I don't think that this category is going to go super insane, but it is very, very strong as of this moment. So next category is very simple. Uh, this one was the old number two, Honor and Integrity. Once again, just insane powerhouses all throughout the team. But the main interaction here that you have to worry about, the main reason this is up here, let's be honest, is because Adam's on this category. Uh, Ad, this is Adam's main category that he's ran on, and he's able to absolutely dumpster. Right here's Adam. Uh, he's able to use the passives available on this category to basically absolutely dumpster anything in the game. Specifically, Adam plus Kashimo equals funny haha, and everything go by. Uh, that's basically it. That's basically why Adam's here. That's why this category is so high, is because Adam, yes, Gilgamesh is on it too. Gilgamesh is really strong. All Might's on it. All Might leads it, actually. Uh, you have all these units that are just really, really good on this category. But yeah, at the end of the day, it's mostly just Adam and Kashimo carrying the hell out of this. Uh, once Adam gets Giga nerfed to the point where he can't abuse passives as much as he is right now, uh, we'll see, we'll reevaluate re Honor and Integrity on the list. But right now, Honor and Integrity, to me, absolutely deserves it. So now, next up, at number four, this is going to maybe surprise some people, but we have Revenger category. Uh, this category became crazy overnight, simply because now you have Toby, you have a lot of Ninja Warriors on here, you could run Naruto as a buffer, which most teams are going to run Naruto anyways. But then you have Sasuke, Itachi, you have Pain, you got the uh, Muda Boy bus, which I still got to test, I don't know how good they were, but I do know he got buffed, and I'm hoping he's worthy of his plus plus status now 
Um, you have Hidan, you have uh, Madara. Madara is kind of aged. But then you have Metallic for Hidan plus Metallic for double Bloodthirsty 2. Although you're probably not going to run that. Uh, Grimmy, Toby, etc. You can reach some crazy high attack stats with this. This category has a bunch of super strong units, mostly from the new update. And this is kind of just the mostly the pain category right now. Like pain kind of runs this category, but this category is very, very, very strong. Especially since the buffer for it leads it as well. Like Toby buffs uh, Revenger and he also leads it. So he's, it's a really, really, really good category. Super, super good. So next up we get into the last one. And the last one, this one's going to be the one that shocks people. This is the one people are going to disagree with me on, which I'm fine with it, is Love Pressure. So Love Pressure, not a lot of units on it, uh, but really, really good units that are on it. You have Toto, you have Tyranai, but then you have Chica, Rias, um, Yuta, etc., etc. Because, let's be honest, the only reason you're running Love Pressure is for this exact team right here. And this team right here dumpsters pretty much everything in the game. Uh, well, not everything, but all the metal stages in the game. This completely or invalidates metal stages as a whole because you have guaranteed crit rate early on between Rias and Dark Flame Lover, and you could also use Chica for early on the love application as well, or charm application as well, and then have uh, Rias to do love. This is easily one of the best categories in the game because of how well it just dumpsters metal stages because metal enemies. Let's be real, I'm one of the more frustrating aspects of enemies to deal with. Probably them and Ambush are my team leaves favorite because metal requires me to run a very specific team. But this team just absolutely dumpsters every single metal rush stage or any stage with metals to the point where it's a joke. And that's why I put this as my top five category. But yeah, anyways, that's my in my top five categories. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching as always. Hopefully you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.